I'm Dr. Martin Gorman. I'm a practicing dentist in Encino, California, and we basically practice what's called integrative dental medicine. And there are four B's in integrative dental medicine. The bite, bacteria, breathing, and the body. This first segment we're going to talk about is the bite. And in the bite, we'll be discussing the temporomandibular joint, TMJ, the masculatory muscles, dental malocclusion, using orthotics to fix the occlusion, and headaches. So first we're going to go into TMJ. And what we're going to do there is take out a drawing that's been around for probably 50, 60 years. This is the brain, this is the base of the skull, and this is the socket here that the condyle, the ball at the top of your, your lower jaw is down here with the teeth and it comes up the side and you have a ball and that fits into the socket right here. In an ideal situation, you have the cartilage disc, which is partially held in place by a live nerve and blood supply ligament. And it also attaches to one of the muscles that move the, move the lower jaw. The, the condyle, the ball at the top of the lower jaw, which is right about here, right in front of the ear. You wanna see it up and forward in the socket. So the space is really small here and it's much bigger in the back. That's normal anatomy. Okay, that's what you're looking to see. The next thing we're going to discuss are the masculatory muscles. The muscles that move our, our lower jaw. The upper jaw is fixed, only the lower jaw moves. And this is called the dinar board and it's a very nice profile and a schematic that will show us how the jaw is supposed to work. This jig in here says normal. So when you have this on the profile, the jaw works up and down and the teeth come together just the way they're supposed to. You have the, the condyle, as you saw on the, on, the, on the drawing, up and forward against the cartilage. Space is smaller in the front, larger in the back, and that hole right here is your, actually your ear hole. And that's why when the jaw's in the incorrect position, especially back or down and back, it affects the ear. But when the jaw moves normally like this, in a regular, easy pattern, the muscles aren't overexerted, stretched, or, move, or incoordinated. They're moving the way they're supposed to move. What happens is, if I change the jig to one that's a posterior jig, and posterior means that the back teeth are gonna hit first, as you see here. Now the back teeth hitting first. But if the back teeth hit first, which is one of the reasons why we crack a lot of our back teeth, chip our back teeth, have sensitive teeth in the back, because the bite's off and the teeth hitting incorrectly. And that happens. But your brain really doesn't want you to bang that hard in the back. You may get some glancing blows. What's going to happen is the brain's going to tell your muscles, I want as many teeth as possible to touch as evenly as possible. So the muscles move the jaw so all the teeth come together. But look what happens. The condyle, the ball at the top of the jaw, is now totally out of position. It's down and back. The cartilage is now loose. All the muscles are stretched out of position, and they're getting strained, which is why your muscles can hurt, and you can get referred pain in the form of headaches and, sore, and also sore muscles. So what happens is when the cartilage is loose, you start getting popping and clicking. Now, what, what we do is we'll make an orthotic because when the... When you're out of position like this, that's what the dental malocclusion is. Your bite's off. And then your brain makes up for it, moves the muscles, so all the teeth come together. So we make a, on this model, an orthotic like this, and it goes in. It's a removable piece of plastic. And what it does is it gets your teeth to touch evenly on the plastic, and it keeps the, the, the condyle, the jaw ball, at the base of your skull in the proposition and tries very hard to recapture the cartilage so it doesn't click and pop any longer. And so now when we open, we are, we're on the same arc every time. Everything is moving nice and smoothly. The muscles aren't getting stressed or strained and everything is working nice and simply. In, in reality, the orthotic we make looks like this. It's a very thin tray, has little flex to it, and it really looks like a clear 
like an Invisalign liner. And what we do is, when we fit this to you, we customize this surface, the, the, the touching surface with the lower teeth, we, we customize that with, with plastic so it fits your specific needs and gets your jaw to work correctly. We're gonna move on to what headaches, and really what the cause of headaches are. What we have here is a book by Travell and Simmons, Myofascial Pain and Dysfunction, the Trigger Point Manual. And, and really quick, what trigger points are, every muscle has a specific place that you can palpate, touch in different areas, and those are, and there are a group of cells called trigger points. And if that trigger point hurts, that means the muscle is overworked and coordinated, and it's referring pain to very, very specific areas. I've actually photographed out of the textbook the temple muscle. Here, these four pictures right here are the temple muscles, and you can see the X's are in four different places. And if you press the muscle right here and it's sore, you should get pain up over your eyebrow, a little up into your head, and down toward your nose a little bit, and down toward your front teeth. And then if you press it here and it hurts, the red reflects where the referred pain sites are. And all these areas up here, you think you have a headache, and it's really a incoordinated muscle. Muscle has been overworked because your bites off and your chewing system is being overworked. Other muscles that are very, very important for headaches in the head and neck, head and neck region is the sternocleidomastoid, which is this big neck muscle right here. It really stands out on everybody. And if you palpate the different areas, you can see you can get major temple pain, ear pain, pain around the eye, top of the head, back of the skull. Except the majority of people that take MRIs to check their brains with a neurologist come out completely negative. And when that MRI, and when that MRI comes out negative, you really have some form, the bites off, some form of TMJ, it's referred muscle pain from coordinated muscles. Okay. Thank you very much for paying attention for this section. That finishes the, the first B, the bite. The next video we'll be doing will cover bacteria. Thanks very much for listening. Have a great day.